Hi everyone. My name is Flavius Francis and uh, I am studying in Fleming College, Toronto. And my uh, student ID is FC107809. And uh, my course name is Project Scope Quality and Risk Management and project code is MGMT182 and my professor's name is Ganesh Subramani. So today I will be uh, talking about the case study connected with to Hirsana project and I will be doing the sort analysis of the Hirsana project. So uh, while doing an introduction the Hirsana is one of the four process development that originate from the ULCOS project. The ULCL means uh, ultra low carbon dioxide steel making. And uh, Europe was looking for a way uh, to increase the efficiency of steel production in a way to implement a project to reduce the emission. And the Hirsana project is a project that which is about to development of a sustainable steel production process and the steel is known to be the most recycled industrial material and the main objective of the European Union is to reduce the emission by 80 percentage to 90 percentage from 1990 level by 2050. And the goal of the Hirsana project is to reduce the world CO2 emissions. The Hirsana method is a two-stage uh, smelting reduction process that produce liquid pig iron through two directly connected phases. So this is a uh, small introduction about the Hirsana project. And now we'll do the sort analysis of the Hirsana project. So sort analysis means uh, its strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. These four main factors are included in the sort analysis. So first we are uh, looking to the strength of the Hirsana project. So firstly in this it is uh, like the improvement in terms of both monetary and environmental gains. So this is the first point of the this factor and in this the iron ores and non-coking coals that are not appropriate for making the blast furnace iron can be used in the Irsana project. It is mainly because of they are very less expensive raw materials. For instance, uh, the Hirsana method can be applied to iron ore that are rich in uh, like uh, alkalis, phosphorus, zinc, and titanium. As a result, uh, the process might be uh, advantageous for both the economy and the environment. And uh, secondly, uh, it is advanced technology. In this, uh, by 20 percentage, Hirsana could decrease the carbon footprint. And the carbon footprint was anticipated to reduce by 80 percentage with the deployment of uh, carbon capture and storage technologies. And the third asset is like economical assets. When we are economically speaking, Hirsana will create a semi-finished good with the same quality as current breakthrough technology at sustainability reduced operational costs. And it will also require significantly lower capital investment cost. And the next point is high, re high recycling rate. In this, uh, like reduced waste and resource utilization is another point that can be like when a product reaches the end of its use and uh, the resources are preserved in the cycle so they can be used 
repeatedly and greenfield development with much lower caps and reduce the need for waste disposal and also it is very and it it helps to uh, increase the productivity productivity and efficiency of the process and additionally when you're saying like the challenges of sustainability and climate change as well as the shifting competitive landscape in our major markets and hirsana could uh, use coal biomass or natural gases which made it in environment friendly so these are the main factors of the strength section and next we go to the weakness of the hirsana project in the weakness in the weakness uh, the first point is complete reduction of uh, co2 emission was not possible and in steel industry feedstock also consisted to consisted of a lot of carbon and also uh, steel was traded globally and in case the company set up carbon neutral production system their cost would increase and they can no longer compete with the other companies from developing countries like china which use highly carbon incentive systems to achieve low price and the next challenge was to develop hirsana into an industrial scale and uh, transmission to the specific location size and the configuration because it was an like a uh, big budget project so it was very difficult to do that and the another challenge would be like uh, scaling up the technologies successfully so that the steel companies across the world would adopt it and also uh, one of the weakness was it takes long time and uh, it takes long time for the like the design and the preparation of the hirsana project because it was a one of the drawback and uh, it was the mainly uh, ma it was one of the main main weakness of this hirsana project so next we will go to the uh, opportunities of the hirsana project and the first point is uh, lower cost and hirsana uh, doesn't require metal metallurgical coal types and can use more widely available like thermal coals and considering that the supply of high quality coing coal is expected to become tighter in the future and it becomes clear that this is a major attraction of irsana and global expansion in global expansion the future uh, expansion of the industry will be driven by the growth in manufacturing construction and automotive sectors and the hirsana project is positioned to be benefit from it and the last point is adapt newer technologies in this point the like the tata steel the tata steel falls behind its rival in the terms of technologies and although it has the opportunity to appropriate more recent technologies so these are the opportunities of the hirsana project and next we'll go to the threat and threat is the last last one of this and in threats there are numerous weakness primarily related to the top the top three challenges to be managed like organizational financial and technical the high intensity and high efficiency of process development when it comes to technical and moreover the emphasis is on generic long term solutions the operational threats are usually arise out from the consortium and communication within the organization the risk factor and high reward is major serious risks when we come to the conclusion the hisana project is a high risk and high rewarded invention to the ulcis united european steel sector that has the 
potential to have significant economic and environmental effects strongly uh, reduce co2 emission are one of the most uh, is on a process environmental advantages but they are not the only one since hirsana doesn't require over agglomeration of going other emission including co fine dust hydrocarbons and can be significantly minimized so this is the uh, a brief explanation of the hirsana project and i have done the sort analysis so uh, i think uh, you guys like this video and thank you thank you so much have a nice day